there are many ladies who have missed the will of God for their lives because the financial pressures in their families compel their parents to direct them to someone who may have resources but is not ordained by God. Are we together? You know, many people say the ladies in our church are following men. Is it poor men that, that is it the poor men that, that will carry them to hotels? Please talk to me. When you don't have money, do, do you have the luxury of imagining a vain thing? <laughs> Are we together? There is a real problem that we have to address this morning. Pastor, you see a church will buy a land and government will just come and collect the land. Just like that. No money, no influence. Everyone in the church is broke. They are prayer warriors. They love God. They see in the vision that the land has been returned, but it never manifests. Because there's no one with influence to speak. I will never pastor a people who don't have influence. Now, you don't have to choose spirituality and influence. Both can come. Are we together now? Yes. Listen carefully. It's a terrible thing. The average young man in Nigeria now is just hoping to find any channel to hustle. Someone graduates and after 15 years, no job, you can't even rent a house. Pastor, find out how many young people at their age, in their 30s, 40s, still in their parents' homes. They fast in that house. They lock the door for three days, dry in that house. But the wherewithal to be established. It's a system. When Jacob said, Laban, I've served you. Let me go. Laban said, no. I have to keep you here. He said, let me establish my own family. It's an antichrist system that will never let people go and serve the Lord. How many men of God stand to pray and in five minutes they've forgotten that they are praying? Ah, this rent, this speaker now, this one just blew, and the other one just blew. The person went to pray. The prayer requests are in the hand there. Lord, change lives, transform destinies. Lack of finances is such a demonic distraction. You have to be a leader to understand. Are we together? Pastor, I counseled a couple in 2000, and um, I can't remember now. This was where, this was the, the, the last stroke that got to me. And I said, no, something must happen in the church. A true story now. I know that I'm on air and I'm saying this. Pastor, a woman who had been serving her director in Nigeria here, they got to such a constraint. When you hear that people did some things that are ungodly, don't be too quick to judge. Oh. Find out the situations that surrounded that thing because poverty can make men become beasts are we together and then all of a sudden the woman needed some help desperately i don't know what it was but it was quite a critical issue and she ran to her director and said sir please i need you to help me can you just give me my salary in advance i will work i will do this but there is this is a life and death situation and the man laughed he said you are you are a married woman and you are talking like a small girl you you understand what he was referring to why are you begging me when you know what to do go and discuss it and you know prosperity gives you audacity you can speak nonsense and not have respect for the fact that the woman is married did you know true story the under pressure the woman went and met her husband and said this is what my director is saying you know i've been faithful to you but let me just do this thing and let's resolve this don't be too quick to say God forbid. Just say God mercy instead of God forbid. The man first refused but when the pressure, you see how Satan makes people deviate from God. He will increase the pressure and then they agreed, husband and wife, that the wife will go and have an affair with the boss. And then what happened happened and then the man gave some money the guilt the torture and everything the woman had to leave the job but that was resolved when when this woman was sharing this with me tears filled my eyes i said what is this and god is in heaven and we lie that since i was young now i am old i've not seen the righteous forsaken who is begging for bread there is it the boss come on now a woman with children compromise on her integrity overnight 
Satan did not use a knife. He used poverty. Pray in one minute and say, Lord, for the sake of my children and my children's children, I must come out of this demonic disaster. Pray in one minute, please. It is not your will. 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 Shabos kabadanda shalaba kariata katos. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Before I begin to share with you a few things, wealth and abundance will bring speed of accomplishment and manifest your destiny fast. When when wealth and abundance is available, it can bring speed of accomplishment there are many prayer points that are unnecessary many many 30 minutes of noise that can be solved with one door of one open door is God speaking to us this morning anybody that tells you prosperity will not make you happy um, I don't know what to say to you, but let me tell you, 